My name's Jeremy Tomley. Spike Richards with Saber Bats. My name is Tasha Messer-Williams. Benjamin Green. My name is Seth Boris, and I am a modern day bladesmith. Whether it's down-home Southern cooking, skilled craftsmanship, or beautiful artwork, Mississippi is full of amazing people and amazing stories. So let them tell you what it means to be made in Mississippi. Hi, my name is Tasha Messer-Williams, and I am a professional artist and owner of Art Cetera in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Originally, I grew up in Illinois, been running away from the winter since I was 17 and never looked back. I have lived in Hattiesburg now for, uh, let's see, it's been 16 years. So when I was in high school, I had this idea. This is what I wanted to do. Um, you know, I went to art school and um, I always wanted a place where I could have other artists, myself, teach art classes. Uh, the original idea was maybe to even have like a hair salon and coffee shop with it. Um, but it just kind of grew and progressed to there. And then um, I came up with the idea of just art, etc. cetera. Uh, first start was a meager little booth at Hubfest. And uh, I got really good response from that. So I started looking for places to open up. Um, my mom and dad are really great business people, uh, so I was showing them the different properties that I was looking at, and my dad would say, you're never going to make it. You're never going to make it, every place I showed him. And then he said, come check out this log cabin on 98. Okay, what are you talking about? There's no log cabin on 98. I had never noticed this place. Um, it was so overgrown. It was just uh, an old abandoned house at that point. It hadn't been lived in in quite some time. And I saw it and I fell in love with it, um, but uh, I couldn't afford it. <laughs> and thus the relationship with my mom and I in business together. Personally, my forte, what I do, is gonna be portraiture. Um, I would say the top two mediums that I use in portraits would be charcoal and watercolor, um, but I do them in pastel, graphite, acrylic um, as well. But I'd say the top two that most people commission me to do are either going to be the charcoal or the watercolor. So charcoal is going to be a drawing medium, um, and a lot of people steer away from it because it is quite messy. It smears very easily, smudges very easily, so you have to be very careful in particular in the order that you work so that um, you have a piece that looks clean and, and not smudged. There's different types of charcoal, so you'll see me with my different pencils, um, it's the different hardnesses of charcoal, so you have softer charcoal, then you have harder charcoal, so you have to know which ones to apply where to get the desired effect that you're looking for. You also have something called willow charcoal. Um, and then a lot of the times with charcoal drawing, you're borrowing from what you've already done on your picture using what's called a blending step. The eyes are always my favorite part because, um, just like they say, uh, the eyes are the window to the soul. Um, that's what really captures the person that you're trying to draw. So I always say that's the fun part. Once I've done the eyes, I'm like, ah, fun part's over. <laughs> Watch the full episode on the WDAM7 Plus app, the WDAM7 YouTube page, or online at WDAM.com slash Made in MS.